Just a warning, this is a video for people that rarely buy skins. If you regularly buy skins, regardless of whether they're your favorite or not, this is not the video for you. This is really made for people who really need to think about a skin before they buy it because it's such a rare purchase. And I'm intentionally not making this my guide to how I buy skins because I buy every skin. Like my guide would be if there's a skin available, buy the skin because I need to make these videos for you guys. That's the reason that I buy all the skins, but I'm going to tell you three questions that you need to ask yourself before buying a skin. This is the biggest aspect that you need to look at when you're buying a skin because you're always going to see the design of this skin. You're always going to see the personality as you're attacking and the animations do contribute a bit to the personality, but overall the skin will kind of give off this vibe. A lot of the older skins don't have as strong of a personality as the newer ones, but you really wanna look at the colors, you wanna look at how the skin is designed overall. And this is 100% your opinion. Nobody can tell you whether you like the design or not. Some things on the skin are objective, but this is 100% subjective. So ask yourself, do you enjoy the design and the personality? And those are in order of how important they are. I definitely think the animations are the most important. For me, I rarely play with the sound on, so sound effects aren't as important to me. But even if you play with the sound on, I still think animations are more important. And then visual effects are just kind of subtle little things that they add to the skin that really add to the overall design, but they're not a super prominent part of the skin. So after you've looked at the overall design, that's the most important thing. You wanna look at the little bit smaller things, the animation, sound effects, and visual effects, and ask yourself, do you like them? After buying the skin, look down the road like a year or a couple years and would you still enjoy using this skin? I've asked myself a similar question. Although I have every single skin, I've asked myself if I had to get rid of every single skin and only keep one for the rest of my Clash of Clans career, which one would it be? So that's kind of what you want to ask yourself. Is this a skin that I would use forever? If I took away all the other skins, would this be the one that I would keep? There's also the battle of asking yourself, should I buy skins with gems? Should I buy the gold pass skin? Or should I buy these legendary skins that come out in the shop? And I actually talked about the value of gold pass skins versus legendary skins in this video right here, which I think you'll find really interesting. <laughs> 